Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to increase points by the distance that we have moved. So, on the uh, last episode we added this uh, widget on the screen, and here we have this points text. So, we will be increasing this by the distance that we have moved on the level. So yeah, let's get started. First, we actually want to go to the HUD folder, and we want to open the player HUD. Okay, and now we want to go to the graph. And here on the graph we can actually delete all of these uh, events. And we want to right click, and we want to uh, create a custom event. And we want to call it update point. Okay, and now to this custom event we want to add a new input. We want to change the type to float and name to points. Okay, now from the points what we want to do, we want to round like this. So it runs it to the uh, closest full number, you know. And from here what we want to do, we want to to text integer, so this middle one. Now we want to open this and we want to select this use groping false, like that. Now we can make it, uh, close it. Okay, and what we want to do next, we want to get the points text. We want to get reference here. And from here we want to set text, content set text, like this. And we want to get from here and connect to here. And now, to this text, we want to connect to this. So, like this. Okay, so it's rounding the number. Uh, uh, like, disable, disabling the grouping and also setting that number to this text uh, slot. So yeah, let's compile and save all, and let's get from here and move it here, so now we have both tabs here. Now let's go back to the Turpus map and to the Blueprints folder, and now we want to go to the GM and let's runner. Okay, and here on the GM Endless Runner we want to go to here where we have our increased speed custom event, and just under it we want to create a another custom. Like this, uh, we want to call this increase points. Like this, okay. And here, what we want to do, we want to first get the player ref, okay. And from the player ref, we want to get the capsule component, okay. And from the capsule component, we want to get get world location, like this. Now let's move all this a little bit further down, and also this a little bit more, like that. Now we can split this return value, and from the x we want to promote to a variable. Let's get from here, here and connect to here. Now this return value x variable, we want to rename it to player location before. Now, from here, we want to get a delay node, and we want to make this 0.1 second. Okay? And after that, what we want to do, we want to get from this return value x, and we want to minus from it. Like this. Actually, I want to align this. So, select and a Q, like that. And now I want to get the player location before. And I want to connect it. Here. So we are getting uh, promoting this world uh, location x to the variable, and then we will uh, wait 0.1 second, and we want to check the current world location x and delete the uh, uh, player location before, so the before location from it. Okay, so we get the distance between. Uh, like current position and uh, before position. Okay. And 
here what we want to do also now we want to create a new variable called points this will be our points okay let's change it to float and now what we want to do actually let's move all this a little bit further down like that okay so now we want to get our points let's get it to here and we want to add to it so plus and get, let's get from here and connect to here okay and after that we want to promote this to a variable which is uh sorry we don't want to promote the variable we want to set the points variable here so set points let's get from the completed to here and let's set it to this value like that okay and after that what we want to do we want to get the player hard reference and we want to update the points update points so the custom uh, event that we just created before on the hud so like this and we want to set it to the points value like that and after that we want to call the same function again so increase points so yeah it's basically done uh, we will add one more thing here soon but i will first show you how this works so let's go to the uh, begin play and here after increase speed we want to also call this increase points increase points so like this okay now if we compile and save all and go to the third person map play we can see it is updating the points every 0.1 seconds so it looks pretty smooth but it's not uh like doing it every tick so it's a little bit more efficient so yeah okay and one more thing as you can see the points are increasing pretty quickly so i think we actually want to decrease it a little bit so let's go gm and let's runner and here on the increase points custom event uh, before the where we add this new value to the points we want to actually let's move all this right and here we want to divide this value let's divide and what i want to divide it with i think maybe three i think that's better okay let's compile and save let's try so now you can see it's working i think that's a little bit better but you can obviously set it the uh, divide node to whatever you want so yeah i think that was all for this video if you liked what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye